Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick update on the off-grid solar system. Well, mostly off-grid solar system that I have here. It's been a while since I posted a video because of all the issues I've been having with Tesla. It just These update videos just kind of slipped my mind. But I didn't do one at all for January. And here it is February like 12th, something like that. And I just remembered that, uh, oh yeah, I kind of do these videos. As you can imagine, it's been a lot of the similar stuff that I had in the December update. January ended up being actually a pretty nice month. Output still wasn't good enough to be off grid the whole time. We were still on grid most of the time and we had to charge my wife's electric vehicle on grid power. So it was a better month, but still not good enough to quite be off grid completely. Our electric bill for January was 140 bucks, which seems to be about what we were paying in the winter. We have more power than we know what to do with in the summertime when it's nice and sunny out, but I don't feed the grid, so I don't get a credit for that. I really think I should probably look into that this year and see if I can get that set up so I can have some credits for next winter. The other option would be just to go with a, another ground mount system and another inverter and more batteries, but that's a lot more money. <laughs> so I'm gonna look into an interconnect agreement at some point. I'm still dealing with the Tesla stuff. Watch those other videos if you're curious. So my bandwidth mentally is not really able to handle another challenge of setting up an interconnect. But at some point, once this is resolved, hopefully it gets resolved, I will uh, look into that. So I thought I'd come out here today to talk about all this because we're having an amazing day. Maybe you can see up behind me. It does look like there is some haziness up there, but surprisingly, I was getting 11 kilowatts and it actually filled the battery that I have here in the garage, the T-Rex version one. It's a 41 kilowatt hour battery pack. So I just switched over to the battery pack in the T-Rex camper, which is an 85 kilowatt hour battery pack from Tesla, but it's only around 77 kilowatts probably. That one has been sitting at about 50% full. I haven't used it for a long time. So it's just been sitting there, but I've got the heater going. It's warming up the battery pack. So it's above freezing and I'm charging that up now. And I'm doing laundry inside and I'm doing dishes, trying to use as much power as possible. I'm just, <laughs> I can't believe here on February 12th that we have so much power and so much sun. And even with a hazy sky that we're still getting 10, 11 kilowatts, it's, it's amazing. But for every awesome and perfect day like this, we have probably 10 to 15 that are less than ideal. We've been getting some snow, as you would imagine, because it is winter. <laughs> so the panels have been covered for the last few days. But today, we're making power. Thankfully, everything's working. Haven't really had any major issues, knock on wood. But yeah, I've been really happy with the system. I just wish I went with a ground mount system. That would have been so much better, as I said in the last video. But I guess that's about it. Thanks for checking back. See you guys.